bark and hold in protection. Um, so I'm working with my dog in protection for a while now, but uh, we had the misfortune of changing several places to train, which is not advisable, but we kind of were, we were forced to do that. And so right now my dog is a little bit confused on what he's supposed to do in bark and hold. Um, and so he usually comes in, he's thinking he needs to bite, and then the bite is not given. And uh, what usually uh, decoys or helpers do in the, in the club is that they try to use the pinch and force the dog to stop kind of biting, which uh, with my dog did not work. Uh, I don't use pinch to begin with, but they tried to pull the dog back and for him it's just an obstacle and he's trying to break through it much harder and so he hits a lot harder. And so it, it gives me a clear sign of the fact that the dog does not understand what he's supposed to do. And so I've decided to fix it on my own at home and we'll see how it works. But I want to cl clearly explain to my dog then there is a command and for that command you bark and there is a command when you bite and so there are two distinct commands for him and how I set it up and so I want him to learn those commands at home with a lot higher drive and a lot more control on my end rather than do it um, with the helper in the club. So let's see how this works. Uh, I've done this once before with him already, so he sort of figured it out, but you'll see how we do this. So, <coughs> hey, y you can see the excitement, right? Um, <coughs> so I usually set him up and then I hold this and then when I t give him the, the command, he uh, he does and then you'll, you'll see how, how we do this. Hey, hey, enough, 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 enough. to bark at me because it's actually I don't let my dogs do it this come on so he's a little bit hesitant I and I reward him plus I reward him only when he can give me a couple of solid barks in the rhythm so I don't reward if there is no rhythm and uh, he'll get it pretty quickly so let's try again hey can see that he kind of he's getting it slowly come on give it to me let's try again I sit and so the reason why I have him sit and run up to me rather than be next to him is because that's where we have a problem uh, uh, at the field with the helpers because when he's running, he's running for the bite. He doesn't want to bark uh, or he doesn't know that he needs to bark. So that's what I'm working on with him. That's the reason why I'm away from him. Bark! Enough, 
Bark. Yes. Good boy. Very good boy. Good boy. Come on. Ah uh ah. -uh. Hi. Good boy. Good boy. No. Uh -uh. Enough. Good boy. See? Bark. Yes. Good boy. You finish with that. Good boy. Give it to me. I flex. Good boy. So as you can see, he figured it out pretty quickly. Though it's our second session. First session, he was not sure what to do. And so you can see that he's giving me solid barks. He kind of got into the rhythm and he likes this exercise. And so I hope if you have the same issue as me and you need to clean your dog from hold and bark, uh, in, in hold and bark exercise, I hope this will help you. Happy training.